wasn't expecting to receive VIP shrine visitors during downtime. <laughs> so I suppose you're here just to visit me? What a smooth talker. Though your eyes do not lie as convincingly as your tongue. You came because you need my help, didn't you? Still, your answer has put me in a good mood. So tell me, what is the matter? We heard the Shogun decided to take a break, and since then the thunderstorm around Inazuma has gotten wilder! Rumor has it that the thunderstorm is affected by the Shogun's will, so people are worrying that something might be wrong with her. <sighs> All right. There's little purpose in keeping anything hidden from you anyway. Since the battle, the Shogun has been greatly troubled and her temperament has changed drastically. What? Her power was already on the decline. Then you dealt her that fateful strike. The defeat was a heavy blow to her. It also didn't help that I forgot to bring her some tricolor dongo and light novels when I went to see her. Oh, the poor thing. Without desserts and books to console herself with, she was so angry she quite simply lost it. Crying and ranting and raving. Oh, I could hardly bear to see her that way. You expect us to believe that a god would throw a temper tantrum over something like that? <laughs> Before you get too indignant, Consider the fact that your concerns sound every bit as nonsensical to me as that blatant lie did to you. A seeks eternity. To her, mortal lives come and go in the blink of an eye. Of what consequence to her are mortal concerns for her well-being? Uh, you're saying she's fine, right? I don't know the details. She said she wanted to rest, and I have nothing pressing that requires her attention. So there is no reason to disturb her. I have heard about the thunderstorm, though. As to the cause, it is not inconceivable that, as you suggest, her will has wavered somewhat. I am the only one in all of Inazuma who can visit her while she is resting. But tell me, why should this concern me? Why should I do this for you, when I already have everything one could ever want, and have seen everything one could ever wish to see? <laughs> I like that answer. Here is the pass permit. Show it to the Okuzumeshu at the gate, and he will let you in. Thanks, Miko! My question was in jest, but since you answered it in earnest, please stay true to your word. Oh, and don't forget to return the pass permit to me after you have finished with it. The Almighty Shogun has requested solitude. No visitors allowed. Oh, we've got a pass permit from Miko! Don't be ridiculous. Lady Guji never gives her pass permit to another person. Not even esteemed travelers like yourselves. Guji Yai is only authorized to hold that pass permit because of the trust that the Almighty Shogun places in her, and her alone. Wait, this is... authentic! Understood. Then as the Shogun has ordered, I must not stand in your way. Apologies. Please proceed. Since the Shogun is resting at this time, please be especially respectful and make sure your behavior is impeccable. Look how she's pacing back and forth. Don't you think she looks a little anxious? How did you get in? Trespassers are to be eliminated at once. Denied. 
Use of force has been forbidden. <sighs> anyway, be gone. Do not disturb my solitude. That is of no concern. This is my recuperation state. Uh, what did you make of this? She's acting strange, huh? This body has no need of rest. But I am an assistant to the one within. If she wishes to rest, I must follow her will. Paimon gets it, so this is all Ace doing. But why? Surely you going about your business doesn't interfere with the plane of Euthymia. She's got plenty of space in there. Seems like it would be the perfect place for rest and relaxation. I do as she wishes. I can say no more than this. I cannot. In my current state, even if I went out, I could do nothing. I am currently unwilling to deal with any business. I am also incapable of it. Uh, what do you mean by that? Hmm. It has been forbidden. <sighs> Please refrain from making me talk any further. Uh, what should we do? It feels like this conversation is going nowhere. Oh, it's you too. It's been a while. The Shogun can't do much at the moment. Come straight in and see me. True form. <sighs> that was terrifying. Would it be so hard to give us a little warning first? Huh, it's not your first time. I don't see what there is to be so alarmed about. So, is the shotgun broken? Are you gonna get it fixed, or? Don't worry. The shogun's not broken. I've just temporarily disabled many of her functions. Currently, the Shogun is unable to handle any business and cannot appear as me. So the easiest solution was to announce that I am resting. As I said, I need to think about Inazuma's eternity. And thinking takes time. But the Shogun is still running based on her old rules. I can't allow her to make any mistakes while I am working things out. Have you tried turning it off and on again? No. She was not created to ever be turned off. Furthermore, I had even predicted at the time that I may wish to modify the Shogun's operational rules at some point in the future. However, such changes would not be conducive to eternity. That's why the Shogun has a robust system to safeguard against modification. It's also to protect against unforeseen circumstances. For now, while I figure out the form that eternity should take, it's more effective for me to temporarily disable some of the puppet's functions, rather than attempt to modify her rules. Oh, Paimon gets it now! The thunderstorm's getting out of control because some of the Shogun's functions have been disabled! Hmm? The thunderstorm is getting out of control? This is the first I've heard of it. Huh? Okay, well, let us bring you up to speed. Hmm, I see. So the thunderstorm is drawing closer. You can fix it, right? It's just a minor error. This kind of thing was bound to happen. A small modification to the Shogun should fix it. Don't look at me like that. I've never had to tinker with the Shogun before, and she's very complicated. It's practically inevitable for something to go wrong when you start tweaking things. Yes, that's it. I'm not making excuses. It's the truth. It's fine. Just as long as you can fix it is all. <sighs> ah, 
Not much. As before, I can see the way forward, yet there are still contradictions. But there is no urgency. To reach an ill-conceived verdict in haste, just for the sake of having reached one, would be a confusion of priorities. Hmm? If everyone sees that the Shogun is in good health, it'll put all the speculation and rumors out there to rest. And who knows? A change of scenery might put you in a different mood and give you some fresh inspiration. Uh, you mean, leave the plane of Euthymia? Yes, you're right. After all, the Shogun is currently unable to take care of business on my behalf. All right then, I'll come out for a while. Oh, since the theme of the day is a change of pace, you can just call me A. I'm not a great fan of rigid titles. What? But you're just A's consciousness, aren't you? Can consciousness actually leave this place? I have my ways. I would never subject myself to imprisonment voluntarily. Oh, great! Then there's nothing to worry about. Allow us to be your tour guides. Tour guides? What's a tour guide? Someone to show you around the Inazuma of today and give you tips on where to eat and how to have fun. All right, let's go, go, go! <sighs> There's a familiarity to the scent in the air. Now, time for a change of pace. Where should we go? To the liveliest place in town! Oh, is this the marketplace? It's a far cry from how I remember it. Oh, the stores have changed. And so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. <gasps> it's... the Shogun! What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. <sighs> I appear to have frightened the people. Well, what did you expect? The almighty Shogun makes an impromptu appearance in town? People are gonna freak out a bit! Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. So, what do we do now? Should we go away for a while and make a more low-profile return later? Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. It was more the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. I... Never mind. This definitely seems like your style, eh? People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Wait a second. Hey, are you saying you don't have any Mora either? Of course I don't. There is no need for commerce in the plane of Euthymia. If I ever need something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean, either? Anyway, people seem to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I don't see the liveliness you spoke of anywhere. Uh, people aren't exactly gonna let their hair down in front of the almighty Shogun. What is this stall selling? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. Sh Shogun, I, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. It's all right. Relax. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. Takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh, milk, and so on. Huh? Milk? 
sounds kind of like the odd one out. It might sound odd, but it is in fact my specialty. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. The focus is not just the taste, but also the unique texture. Oh, dango with milk. Hmm, I've never heard of it. What made you want to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with eternity. I said relax. There's no need to go treading on eggshells. Do you really think the eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by dango and milk? Huh. Why do I feel like she's different than I expected? Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many dango, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had use for. My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. Both dango and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm, interesting. May I try this drink? The almighty Shogun wants to try? Well, certainly. And you two should try it too. Hmm. Nice. It's sweet. <laughs> the sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. <gasps> a unique beverage, indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a drink, but it also feels like eating food. Hmm, it's a little bit like... Uh, porridge? Mm, but the resemblance is only superficial. Anyway, I like it. I'm very glad you approve. I imagine that an item as delicious as this dongo milk must sell exceptionally well, no? <laughs> well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? Uh, because most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone who's tried it before rates it highly. I'm not saying the Almighty Shogun has unusual tastes. Please, don't take it the wrong way. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that can be fixed. I'll just have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. No, 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 Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dango milk. I... Uh... <laughs> oh, I would lo... No. No need. That would be needlessly indulgent. <sighs> There's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. By the way, Miko mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House to sell some sort of light novels. She's always bragging to me about it, but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself. Can you take me there? Sure! Let's go and have a look! Sh Shogun! O Almighty Shogun! What brings you to the Yai Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No, not at all. Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. Uh, apologies. I, I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management, or publishing regulations, or fire safety measures? Uh, she just wants to browse your books. The Almighty Shogun wishes to read light novels? Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public, and the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the Almighty Shogun's taste. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? What could I misunderstand, really? In principle, you're absolutely right. It's just... It'll be fine. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. Well? 
Okay, then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. I, I have just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um, don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. Okay, let's go then. Huh. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles, so why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. It's so long! Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. It's just a narrative device! Narrative device. So it's... made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm fairly certain that hilly churls can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting hilly churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, Paimon's starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you the scoop. All right, then. I believe myself to be relatively well-read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Miko's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. All right, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. The looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. Hey! Paimon thought we agreed not to bring that one up! It's okay. I find it quite interesting. I didn't realize that this was how ordinary people viewed the Shogun. She would never use the Muso no Hitotachi as frivolously as she does in the pages of this book. Nor would she ever use it as a means of venting emotions. In reality, the reason for drawing her blade determines the martial form to use, and the degree of power with which to imbue it. Since there is such a great deal of difference between the story and the reality, I don't feel offended at all. On the contrary, I find the author's powers of imagination quite admirable. That said, I hear that Yai Publishing House's novels are all reviewed by Miko herself. Which means that the content of this book must have been approved by her. In fact, no. It may even have been her idea in the first place. So what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we picked? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Back when I decided to isolate myself in the plain of Euthymia, there was no Yai publishing house, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes. And I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out. To take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Sure, it's not the same as you remember. But one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. But I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. 
This may be an everyday occurrence for you, but for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think a lot. I really can't praise it highly enough. I hope I will remember it for a long time to come. Great idea! Ace had a wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it! Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay! Come with us! We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean! <laughs> What are we supposed to be doing? We're taking a photo of you! Just leave the hard work to us. All you need to do is stand over there and strike a pose. Basically, a photo makes a visual record of you at this very moment in time. So it makes a great souvenir! Okay. So what exactly is striking a pose? Ah, I see. So in other words, I need to do some sort of visually agreeable action in front of you, right? Oh, the more I think about it, the more embarrassing it seems. How should I pose? <laughs> Help me out here. It should look good, but not too over the top. <sighs> this isn't coming naturally to me at all. This doesn't feel very... me. Is this okay? All right. Well, I'll leave the dis- Okay. I'll try that. All right. Well, I'll leave the decision casual. Uh, how about this? This feels- Okay. Let's get started. Let's pick a good angle to record this moment from. It seems to be another copy of me, but she doesn't seem to be able to move or talk. I thought it would turn out poorly because I felt rather rigid, but it actually looks more natural than I imagined. The pose is exactly the same, and so is the scenery in the background. I can't imagine how it's achieved. That's what makes it so special! Hang on. I'm still struggling to understand this. I need you to explain it again. So, the one in this photo... Are you sure it isn't me? If it's not me, then why does she look exactly like me? And if she is me, then... Who am I? Uh... Okay, that's way above Paimon's head. Over to you, Traveler! Hey, that's right! Do you think the Shogun counts as you? Of course I do. It was never my intention to place control of Inazuma into anybody else's hands. So then, who does that make you, here and now? Well, I'm still me. There is no doubt about that. My existence... Hmm... Huh. I think I understand. I am me. There is only one of me, but I can exist in many different forms. It's not important what form I exist in. The Shogun, for example, is one of my forms of existence. The question of whether or not she is me is not determined by any of her components. In that case, this picture is one of your forms of existence too. Hmm. So even I, who seeks eternity, I'm constantly changing my form of existence. Then, how can I ask Inazuma and everyone who lives here to remain unchanging? Everything I have encountered on this journey with you has been from beyond my existing sphere of knowledge. <sighs> You've seen a lot of my ignorant side today. Maybe you can't tell, 
But all this has challenged my understanding of things. Based on what I have seen today, I am forced to accept that Inazuma is a completely different place from the one I remember. But it would be incorrect to conclude from this that the Inazuma of today is no longer Inazuma. Both the Vision Hunt Decree and the statue of the Omnipresent God were conceived as a means of bringing about eternity. But if I were really getting closer to eternity, none of this ever would have happened. Hmm. Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps I've been holding on to everything too tightly. Sounds to Paimon like Ace figured things out! And that means that we've done a really great job as her guides! Master Kamaji! Master Kamaji! Hmm, why is it getting so noisy down there? Oh, that sounded like Ipe. What could be the matter? Ipe? Is that someone from the Tenryo Commission? Yep, let's find out what's going on. I... Huh? The... The Almighty Shogun? You must be looking for my master, Kujo Kamaji? I, I am very sorry, he's not here at the moment. But, but if it pleases you, I will gladly deliver a message on your behalf. It's okay. I'm not here to see him. We just heard you calling out, so we came to see what was going on. Yes. Master Kamaji still hasn't returned from the negotiations, and I'm starting to get worried. In fairness, he does have a habit of taking long walks and coming back late. It's perfectly possible that he just found somewhere he likes and lost track of time. But for some reason, today, I'm particularly nervous. Kujo Kamaji. A descendant of the Kujo clan, I presume. That's right. Uh, apologies, since the head of the clan is in poor health at the moment, and Master Masahito is rarely home, Master Kamaji is currently serving as representative of the Kujo clan. I have heard that things are quite tumultuous with the Tenryo Commission at present. Does this have anything to do with Kujo Kamaji? Forgive us, almighty Shogun. The Kujo clan has failed in its duty. The Kujo clan's reputation is damaged, and its power over the Tenryo Commission is in decline. Plus you, um... <clears throat> you have yet to issue a verdict on the Commission's future. So... Master Kamaji decided to enter negotiations with the Takutsukasa clan with a view of having them take over. Surely they would be discussing something like that at their headquarters, right? Why are you looking for them here? Actually, they decided to hold this one elsewhere. I'm a little confused as to why, to be honest, but I didn't feel it was my place to question the higher-ups. The meeting place is in the mountains near the Grand Narokami Shrine. I believe the Takatsukasa clan have some kind of base there. Takatsukasa? Another familiar name. They have been faithfully serving the Kujo clan all these years? Yes, yes, that's why Master Kamaji decided to discuss things with them. I understand they must have had a lot of ground to cover, but still, there's no way it should have gone on this long. I've searched all over the city. If he really hasn't returned yet, then... Yeah, I thought of that possibility too. But someone of my rank can't just go venturing into Takatsukasa clan territory like that. No, no need. I'm probably just overthinking things. Besides, if they're still at it, they'll only blame me for interrupting the negotiations. I'm only a lowly servant. But Master Kamaji and I grew up together. It'd be terrible if anything ever happened to him. I'm not as smart as Master, so I can't really share his burdens. But the last thing I'd want would be for him to come to harm when I could have done something about it. Hmm. What do you think, Almighty Shogun? Let's go see what's happening. With me present, they are unlikely to blame you, even if we do happen to interrupt the negotiations. Besides, this has only come about because I failed to make a timely decision. This issue started with me, and I shall be the one to fix Thank you so much, Shogun. I'll keep looking around in the meantime, too. Let me mark out the location of the base for you. I hope everything goes smoothly. Places. I 
I can't think of a reason anyone would want to build a structure like this deep in the mountains. I feel something that doesn't belong here. I sense danger. Huh? We should proceed with caution. The Kujo clan descendant may well be in trouble. Almighty Shogun! Shogun? What are you? Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan. Explain what is going on here. Oh, we're just discussing some minor issues that have cropped up in the Tenryo Commission recently. Really, it's nothing worth the Almighty Shogun worrying about. And these minor issues warranted the secluded location and the hiring of Ronin and Kairagi to keep guard? Well, uh, uh, there's been a lot of turmoil lately. It was just out of security considerations, that's all. Silence. 
descendant of the Kujo clan. Your turn. All right. I came here intending to negotiate, but it turned out all they were interested in was a written confession from the Kujo clan. A written confession? Yes. A statement acknowledging every crime committed by the Kujo clan since the inception of the Vision Hunt Decree, including all the recent misconduct. All factual statements, of course. Not a single one of them fabricated. I can't deny that. But it also emphasizes the Takatsukasa clan's achievements throughout the document, claiming they stood steadfast all along and fought back against the crisis. These are all falsehoods. Says who? Why, you two-faced... You're going back on everything you said! I'm just stating the facts. I'm sure the almighty Shogun can discern the truth. All the Takatsukasa clan is trying to do is make themselves look good, so they'll be first in line to replace the Kujo clan. Why else would you push a false narrative in the written confession that paints your clan in a good light and try to make me sign it under duress? What are you talking about? You're not under duress, we're just negotiating here. You've completely changed your tune. I believe I now understand the situation. Don't listen to his nonsense. I'm sure you're well aware of the major failings of the Kujo clan. Surely you of everyone knows. Not a single word they say can be trusted. <laughs> you are quite mistaken if you think your dispute is of any interest to me. Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan, you wish to become the new Tenryo commissioner. Do I understand this correctly? Uh, well, y yes, of course. It's the eternal pursuit of everyone in the Tenryo commission to offer our lives in service of the almighty Shogun. Then the situation is not as complicated as you seem to have made it. After all, I am the one who appoints the Tenryo Commissioner. The process is quite simple. Anyone who can beat me in a duel becomes the new Commissioner. A... Uh, sorry, a duel with the Almighty Shogun? The first Tenryo Commissioner demonstrated his will with the blade in his hand. That is why the title has been passed down within the Kujo clan ever since. If you want me to appoint a new clan, then naturally, there must first be a new duel. I, uh... Do you not know how to wield a blade? Or do you simply doubt your abilities on account of your advanced age and declining physical condition? Here you are talking about offering your life, and yet you are too afraid to face my blade. Uh... Well... Well, never mind. What about one of you, then? Anyone who can defeat me, Takatsukasa or not, will be appointed the new Tenryo Commissioner. Uh, 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 uh. Does not a single person dare to face me? I... I will challenge you, Almighty Shokan. What? Descendant of the Kujo clan. Regrettably, even if you win against me, it cannot atone for the wrongs committed under the Kujo name. I realize that. I don't stand a chance of winning against you anyway. I know full well that the mistakes my father made ought to spell the end of the Kujo clan's legacy in the Tenryo Commission. Even when I was executing the Vision Hunt Decree, I had doubts about my father's decisions. I knew that what I was doing was wrong. But that was as far as I went. I doubted, and I ruminated. I understood the situation perfectly well, but I took no action, and I didn't save a single person. I accept the Kujo clan's decline as punishment for my deeds. I can't even say that I failed to prevent it. Because in order to fail, you have to have at least tried. To be brutally honest, for someone of your strength, there is nothing you could have done, even if you had tried. Yes. I'm too weak. My father ignores me. My elder brother can't help me, and I even need Ipe to set me straight at times. It's the way it's always been. But if nothing else, then right here, right now in the Kujo clan's final hours, it is I who represent the clan, like my father before me. His duties are now mine to perform. Just as the Shogun said, a forefather of mine once showed his will with his sword. Then please, let me... Kujo Kamachi end the story of the Kujo clan in the same way that it began. This is my last chance to do something. This is patently meaningless. But I accept. Come forward.
the Kujo clan's honor was forged with courage, tempered with integrity, and shines beyond life and death. Show me whether your blade can bear the weight of your name. Ready to learn, almighty Shogun. Another anomaly in eternity. Nevertheless, it appears that the Kujo honor still courses through your veins. Kujo Kamaji is wounded. Descendants of the Takatsukasa clan, it is your responsibility to take care of him. You may not have the courage to challenge me, but I trust that you are capable of attending to a small matter such as this. Yes, of course. I apologize. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I had heard that the Kujo clan is no longer fit to shoulder the work of the Tenryo Commission. The search for a successor to the role of Tenryo Commissioner is indeed a matter of great urgency. However, following this duel, I have decided to postpone the Kujo clan's punishment for the time being. In the meantime, I expect the Takatsukasa clan to continue supporting the Kujo clan as before. As you instruct, so it shall be done. We would not dare question the almighty Shogun's will. Finally, if you still think you can copy the Fatui strategy of providing me with deceptive information to produce flaws in my judgment, you will see me appear once again as I have done today. Only next time, my blade will show no mercy. Understood. Thank you, almighty Shogun, for your wisdom and mercy. That will do. I will have the Okuzumeshu continue the investigation from here. Come with me. Let's find a quiet place. There's something I want to talk about with you. You think so? I thought I was rather accommodating. If it had been the Shogun, she would have decapitated Kujo Kamaji without a second thought. I do believe he was prepared for that outcome. I could see it in his eyes. The Kujo clan has undergone a dramatic change from its glory days to its present decline. Kamaji is hardly a great heir to the Kujo name, but... He has shown me how some things remain the same, even as the world around them changes. I also have you to thank. The things we experienced out on the streets, and the photo you took of me, they helped me come to this realization too. 
So what's next for the Kuju clan? Will they get to carry on being in charge of the Tenryo Commission? Not a chance. Even if their heir was someone who showed promise, their past mistakes cannot be erased. Still, I will give them a little more time. After all, they are not the only ones who have made mistakes. The Shogun does not make mistakes. She is incapable of doing so. But I, as A, would like to offer my apologies. I have much to contemplate in the days to come. But at least, I can now see the way ahead. I think I'll leave that to the Shogun. The greatest threat to eternity is still the erosion that comes with time. As I said, the Shogun has a robust system to protect her against modification. This is because I anticipated that I myself would change over time. But I've made up my mind. So I will do what needs to be done, no matter how difficult it is. Hmm. <laughs> this has certainly been a memorable series of events. Absolutely. You sorted out the Tenryo Commission, and the people in the city got to see a happy and healthy Shogun. All the awful rumors will disappear in no time. If you enjoyed your trip, we should get you out again sometime. No need. There's no place for such things in my life. Also, please stop making it sound as if I somehow need the company. Okay. I'm ready to head back now. My period of solitude will now continue, but it will not last too much longer. I will leave you humans to deal with any minor issues in the meantime. Okay, see you next time! Considering a lot of what happened was pretty unexpected, things seem to have worked out surprisingly well in the end. The only thing left to do is return the past permit to Yaimiko. Miko, we're back! We had a great trip! Did you now? Well then, you'll have to tell me all about it. <laughs> How amusing. The almighty Shogun goes downtown, and suddenly she's like a wide-eyed country girl trying to find her bearings in the big city. Marvelous. What a shame I didn't get to see it for myself. It's fine. She wouldn't mind. Really, she wouldn't. So, from what you were saying, it seems that she's finally begun to comprehend what form eternity should take? That's the most important outcome of this trip. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you'd make such great progress when I lent you the pass permit. Yeah, it seems like she's not gonna force everything to stay the same way anymore. To put it nicely, even deities indulge in wishful thinking. To put it more bluntly, there are things that even the Seven can't do when faced with something even more powerful than themselves. <laughs> Take a guess. Anyway, it sounds like you had a very pleasant trip and even had the chance to see A's less formal side. Next time you wish to see her, you can come and take the pass permit from me again. She would never admit to it, but she does, in fact, get quite lonely. What? But she said she doesn't need company. Because she is a god. It's not that gods don't need the company of others, just that the idea of a god having company seems indulgent to her. But you don't belong to this world. Perhaps you are just the company she needs. Yeah. <laughs>